Hey guys, welcome to Car Guy 1999 Reviews as well as Quirk Auto Dealers. Today we have the 2021 Buick Enclave Avenir 1SP package. So this one is Avenir Technology package uh, with the white frost tri coat. And it's over chestnut with ebony accents. Absolutely beautiful spec. And it really is worth the price tag of six, wow that's it sixty thousand five hundred and forty dollars I honestly thought it was gonna be a lot more than that I thought it was gonna be in the 70s Whoa. here is your ebony wood finished down throughout here too it is real wood too it's not you know, that fake stuff. It's absolutely beautiful. All the materials in here are top notch. All the stitching is completely real. This is all leather. All leather down here, all leather here. It's just absolutely beautiful. your virtual rear view mirror you can turn it on and off with a flip of that switch uh, but yeah all in all it's a really really nice vehicle got all your different cameras that's pretty crazy I'm not gonna lie you can even see the front tire start to poke through <laughs> Oh, this is amazing. Wow. There we go. Now we see the front tires. Without further ado, let's take it for a drive. I uh, forgot to push that button. A couple different modes. You got tow haul, tour, and sport. Uh, all the other enclaves that I drove today didn't have sport mode this one does just makes steering a little bit heavier changes transmission tuning um, yeah it just makes a little bit uh, more responsive to your inputs which is always welcomed in my mind heated steering wheel uh, really really effective especially on colder days like today it's 42 out but it's just a little brisk uh, so it was really nice to be able to pop on that heated steering wheel no this wood up top is not heated but it heats up well especially because it's a dark color so when it sits in the Sun it's gonna um, heat up quite well Nine-speed automatic with paddle shifters behind the wheel, of course. Paddle shifters aren't there uh, for sporty driving. It's there to control your low mode, which is designed as a gear limiter. So. If you don't want the car to shift past fifth gear, it won't shift past fifth gear. Uh, but it's going to act like a au typical automatic from gears one to five. It's not going to keep you in fifth gear. Um, but it's still really, really nice. You can make it act very similar to a typical uh, manual mode. So for example, right now it's in L1. And when we accelerate, I'm going to use the paddles to shift up through the gears. So all I have to do is just shift as if I were the automatic and then it's a manual mode. It 
See what I mean? It works quite well on a course because it's a gear limiter if I'm in sixth. I can just downshift and it will actually downshift. And no, it's not not recognizing the shifts, just second and third gear are extremely close in ratio. What's kind of neat is I think the front wheels are uh, brake or torque vectoring via the brakes because I can feel it a little bit uh, when I'm steering under throttle. I'll feel just a little bit of the brakes pulling it to make the corners. It's pretty, it's pretty effective. Now I'll go ahead and demonstrate second and third gear and how close they are. So now we're in second and shift. I can even downshift. They're only about 500 RPM apart. So I think in normal automatic driving, it will go one, two, four, or one, three, four. It's not gonna shift between uh, two and three. Oh yeah, that is, it's like a trick differential up in the front. I can feel it pulling one side of the car in order to get it around the corner under throttle. I felt that in the, uh, the Acadia too. Kind of mitigates understeer and uh, really helps the handling of the Enclave. It only does it above a certain speed too, because uh, like this corner it's not going to do it. There it does it a little bit. Here it will. Nope, so it's above 30. You have to be doing above 30 for it to kick in. I think it kicks in a bit less under all-wheel drive mode, but I might be mistaken. These cameras are crystal clear. And that top down view really helps you get it centered in the lines. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one.